Hey everyone, Zero Designs here, and as I promised, I'm gonna do a tutorial on how to create the lava effect and how to animate it. So, um, first, I've just downloaded the lava um, material in the description. I'll put a link up, and um, then open it in Cinema 4D. And uh, normally, you'll start off by making a Motex, but we're gonna use the spline text. So, just go to this little what is it? Well, just click that and um, select text object. Um, I'm just going to make it say preview. Oh, sorry. Preview. So, um, yeah. Now go to this little cube with um, dots around it and select the X2 nerves and just drag the text in it. In it. Sorry. Um, now just select the extrude nor nerves and let's make the depth um, 100 and the subdivision round 6 then give it a caps a filler cap and a filler cap of radius 1 and radius 1 and that's going to give you pretty cool text to start off with of course the lighting isn't very great but that doesn't even matter that much with this material so um, let's just drag the material on there and see what happens. Nothing much at the moment. Um, so yeah, just select the material, the texture. Me oh, there we go. As you can see, pretty cool, but it's only on the sides in the preview, in the no render. So if you render that out, you can render it out. It, pre it still looks pretty cool, but um get kind of weird edges and um, so to fix that just click the material right here and project you make that cubic yeah that's fine um, and if you get like weird transitions like not smooth transitions just um, tick seamless and that's gonna fix that so here we go we got our lava text set up Sorry guys and that looks pretty cool but now we want to animate it um, and that's pretty easy actually just create another extrude nerves and drag that in there so now we got extrude nerves in the extrude nerves so um, just click the upper extrude nerves and hold shift and click the lower one and then go to MoGraph effector and random effector. So as you can see, nothing will happen. Now, grab the random effector and drag it into the extrude nerves. And go to deformer and make it point. As you can see, that's looking really weird. You can't read read the text. And uh, so let's just go to effector and make the random mode. Make it um, noise or turbulence. Because that are animated. Those are animated. Uh, I mean, uh, I usually are just use noise. But as you can see, it still looks pretty weird. So um, we're going to make the strength about 20. And let's play this. this. Uh, so as you can see, that's moving kind of quick for lava, right? Because lava is not really a moving material, I guess. So let's just play around with the animation speed. The animation scales, the amount of the animation, like how far the um, it's going to expand. So let's put this on 100 and reduce the scale. Yeah. It's not really. But um, let's put the strength back at 20 and put the scale at 100. And the animation speed make it about 22. So there we go, we got our quick lava thing set up. It's kind of flowing around. Of course it's not looking really nice at the moment. But that's because we're using the displacement tag. If we untick that, it's going to load for a while. Because I'm rendering at the moment. We just get the lava thing. And if we went right out real quick. It's not really looking that cool. So we tick the displacement again. It's gonna look way more like lava itself. Because um 
it's actually going out of the normal text uh, out of the text we made in the beginning it's going bigger and normally it's not so it's kind of random effects are for outside or something makes it look pretty cool so um, just preview that again uh, yeah that's way cooler so um, that's what I wanted to show you today um, thank you for watching and oh fuck my camera um, <laughs> Thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this tutorial please make sure to leave a like and comment and drop us up if you want. Thank you for watching I guess. Oh cliche. <laughs>